guys, so, um, uh, I was going to tell you. <laughs> I'm finally figuring out my phone. All my apps are finally downloaded. It took till morning for all them to download, so I'm trying to get back to everybody's comments. Um, now that I have my real phone instead of just my temporary one, uh, I'm was too scared to like download too many apps and get everything set up. Um, I was just being lazy and didn't want to take the time. But that's a stupid excuse. But anyways, I'm really excited to have my phone back to film on and all that jazz. So Garrett decided to cook a roast last night. And um, the history with us with roast, I've made over six. And, every, and roasts are so expensive. And every single time I did it, it ended up coming out like either roast beef or it came out hard as a rock it had no flavor it was disgusting so I'm not sure what he did but I just checked the temperature and the thermometer just like fell in the middle so it's gonna like break apart nicely and it made a beautiful gravy so I don't know what the hell recipe he did but um, I was asleep when he did it he didn't go to sleep at all last night well he slept like an hour on the couch with me and then woke me up put me in bed and then he stayed up the rest of the night she's stupid anyways so yeah Jesus Christ, I'm so tired. Anyways, I have work at 11. So I have some time to do some things. Um, I let the vlog slide again like it just slipped my mind and I just couldn't, uh, could not figure it out. But um, Anyways, what do I want for breakfast? Garrett, he tried to make the omelets and it turned out being flat and like just dense and burnt. <laughs> And I tried to eat it. I felt so bad. But for some reason, I woke up that morning. I was so nauseous. Everything made me want to vomit. And I tried to finish it, but I was about to throw up, so I couldn't. And he kind of figured out my game. So, um, he felt really bad. So, I made omelets the next day. And so, now it's like a joke between us that uh, I'm the only one that can cook omelets and that he can't. And he's like, you have to teach me. He's like, how did you? He just stared at me, glared at me for a while while I was making it. And he looked at me uh, when I turned around. He's like, how do you make it so fluffy and how do you get it to pick up so perfectly <laughs> um just watch man so i didn't know if i was doing that good of a job so or that it was that hard so i will be showing you guys one day good morning good morning oh did you just wake up yeah did you just wake up yeah Baby, you just wake up. Oh. I love you. You love me. This morning is one of those mornings where you need coffee, right, baby? So, Garrett picked up another one. We're used to doing the glory days, but he got um, bright lights. <laughs> on the back this one's a little bit darker than this one which means this one will have more caffeine in it so I ain't complaining Ooh, you smell it can you smell it, it smells really good in here. Um, I'll mix them half and half
Okay, so Martin has a section where you can do program, where it programs like high and like how long it's going to cook. Or you can do manual where you just have it on high and it just stays on. So I did that one and it's on high right now. I'm going to wait till this kind of like bubbles a little bit. Um, like just starts to really warm up and then I'll add the flour, um, taste the uh, beef drippings just to see what it tastes like, if it needs more salt, pepper, what. So the flour I'm going to be using is an unbleached um, unbleached all-purpose flour from Trader Joe's and if you and the reason why we never used flour before is because it's always bleached and so it's modified and chemicals to bleach it and all that stuff is just bad and look how good Garrett did I'm so proud of him he stayed in our budget and he got three cartons of eggs one's already been there this one has like one in it he got a big old thing of strawberries some zucchini some mango he got another coconut milk um so he got another uh, cheese. He got uh, raw cheese that was mild cheddar. It's really good. He got some more dates. Um, I think that's it. He got two of the milks. I really don't like using this milk. I mean, I'm used to Klein Peters Baton Rouge milk, and I like Baton Rouge. Whenever I was here, like the past six years, that's what I use. But you can't beat that other deliciousness. So then he got some orange juice over there. I don't know if you got anything. He keeps forgetting we have stuff in here. I'm probably about to cook these uh, asparagus. And he put these carrots down there for the stew or for the pot roast. But, yes, and up here, he bought three things of ground beef because they're having a deal on that, so why not put it in the freezer? He got some more mixed fruit for me for my smoothies, which is probably what I'm about to eat. And, yeah, because I was stupid and, like, bought, like, a everything that they had. So, I got this, like, cherry, r raspberry, blueberry, blackberry. And the raspberries and blackberries have such nasty seeds in them. It drives me crazy. <clears throat> so, that one wasn't a good idea. The mango was a good idea. And, see, this is the one I opened. It has those in it. It's just not. Garrett might eat it later, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Strawberries. Some more mango. Which mango needs to go by this mango. So this one is just pure raspberries, which was a mistake. Anyways, I like to have everything over here. Blueberries, that's my favorite to put in my stuff. Let me see. Strawberries up here and see um, my tomato sauce froze beautifully. It's got grates in it, but still froze beautifully. It's there. I need to clean on this out because this is uh, bone broth from God, like almost a year ago. These will keep because we'll eat those. Oh, and that shrimp is definitely freeze a burn. We've had that forever. Um, yeah. I and mean, we don't eat little bitty box meals anymore. So I don't know what we're going to do with all this. Gary has so much that she went through a year where he did nothing but eat fish. Like, um, Halibut, um, tilapia was his favorite until he realized that it was a bottom feeder and it's pretty much eating shit because, you know, the term you are what you eat. And tilapia is a bottom feeder from what falls to the bottom. But shit. <laughs> but shit. <laughs> okay, so this is what pops up on the screen when you do Hulu and our TV is about to go out. Guys, I'm so frustrated, but this is Garrett's TV before we move in together, and then um, right up there behind the clothes is my TV before we move together in together. So this one doesn't have um, anything to like pop it up on. <coughs> we have one of Garrett's uh, weights holding it up, but this one's a better TV because it's HD TV. Um, I got I think it's actually wireless, like Pico HD, whatever the hell that is. So in the new house. Wherever we end up living, we'll mount this in the living room. And maybe cut it out and put it on Craigslist. But, like, what happens is, like, whenever we're playing the Hulu, um, the screen will be completely blank, and but the sound will be coming from it. And so you have to, like, turn it off and turn it back on. Ground that up in here. We like a lot of pepper in the family.
It hurts really good. Okay. Get rid of the spoon. Now get another one. Then we're gonna start like get a big spoonful like this and just like sprinkle it like that. And like you want to really break it up because you don't want clumps of flour in your food. And if you want to take it another step further to guarantee no clumps, then you can sift it over the top. Okay, so you can tell it definitely changed color. So I'm gonna let that cook out all the flour taste that it has and it should thicken up pretty nicely. And if it doesn't thicken up, then we'll add um, a little bit more flour. Okay, so I added milk also to it and it's the perfect consistency that I want. And yeah, it tastes really good. Taste it again on camera. This is what it looks like. Actually, it needs some more salt. But, um, it tastes, other than that, it tastes really, really nice, and I'm really happy with it. And I guess I'll just spin it over. I don't know if that's what I want to do. But I just can't believe the meat is just so, just like, Tinder and just like fell apart like that. Really excited about that. And I hope Garrett is too. I sent him a picture and he's with a client right now so he couldn't look, but. Yeah. Let's get round. It's really all there is to making your gravy is you just use the fat or the drippings and add flour to it. And if you want to make it creamier, just add a little milk. Spot on. Damn. That's a good gravy. Shit. So I'm just going to begin to spoon this all over that. And it's going to take a while. So, Okay, once I've added enough gravy where it was like really wet in here, I might do one more scoop. Um, then I'm going to put the gra rest of the gravy um, in another bowl. And so if like we want more or something, then we can... Add that to it. Don't want to use that bowl. Yeah, we just got full. I'll use it. I want to use like a regular dinner bowl and then fill that one up. Hey guys, so there it is. There's our extra gravy and here's the meat. That is going to be so good. I'm probably going to drop some of that off by Garrett's place. I don't know whenever he gets off, but this gravy I'm really proud of as well. But the star of the thing obviously is the meat and I cannot wait to talk to him so he can tell me what the hell he put in there? Because <coughs> it's driving me crazy. Because I've done everything I've done with like Lipton uh, uh, noodle soup. People said doing that, that'd make it taste really good and break down. I did meat tenderizer, which I told Garrett about. And he's like, that's disgusting. I can only imagine what chemicals are in there to make it break down the meat. So this is what it looks like. And we got the one from McCormick, and it's white, as you see. And you just like sprinkle it on your food. It says, just before cooking, moisten surface of meat with water. Sprinkle tenderizer evenly over meat. Um, about one teaspoon per pound. Do not add salt. Pierce meat with fork at one half inch intervals. Cook immediately when preparing thick cuts of meat. Let stand 30 minutes before cooking. So it's crazy. It says ingredients are salt, dextrose, bromelain, which is the tenderizer, and calcium silicate. I don't know, added to make free flowing. It sounds disgusting. So I don't know why we still have this. Um, Garrett will probably throw it away. I probably should throw it away now, but I don't wanna. So I'm just cannot believe that I, I get to see a pot roast that fell apart. It's just crazy. Anyways, so I'm gonna finish my coffee and drink my smoothie. Hey guys, so I just got to work and um, yeah, I just got me a small. A small uh, tea to drink 
while I'm here, I'm only here for a few hours, so it's not that big of a deal. But, um, anyways, I don't know why I picked up the phone and start feeling, but I just want, oh, my earrings. Aren't these so cute, my little owl pearl earrings? Got this watch on, and both these are from Francesca's Collections. This jacket is JC Penny from the MNG by Mango line. Dress is New Bird. I got it at a little boutique in um, Breckenridge, Colorado. And then my booties are from Francesca's Collections as well. So, uh oh, my necklace is um, from redenvelope.com. But I want to tell y'all, I've told y'all before, but I've gotten a few new subscribers since um, last I said it. So I want to tell y'all, I have a Pinterest page. Um, that is my favorite. So every month, whenever I fall, or every time I fall in love with a product and it's something that like I have to share with you guys, um, I'll pin it on that board and where you can go directly to the site and buy it. And I also have a little board um, on the side of my blog. If you just scroll down a little bit, um, it'll have the whole section where you can scroll down and you can click from there actually to go and buy the item. So I thought that'd be really cool and really. Uh, easy for you guys. So I have a lot of stuff I have to add to it because um, April's almost up and I have to add some more things. So, hi. So it's afternoon. I made it home. Yay. Um, I'm exhausted. Sorry. I decided to wear heels today and just was not a good day. Anyway, so Garrett loves the uh, pot roast too. We've been eating it. We're trying to get it done. Um, we're trying not to eat it all because we're making the oh carrots. My God. And the potatoes didn't even turn it on. Genius. So these are like these round uh, carrots that Trader Joe's has. It's really strange. It comes in the frozen section. And I just salt and peppered it. I put in olive oil and just letting it steam and saute. At the same time, and he's just boiling the potatoes in salt. I don't know what you're going to do next. Oh, mashed potatoes. Do the mashed potatoes. Right. Uh, but I had a mason jar glass full of wine, so I feel a little bit better. I thought today was a short day, but I was sadly mistaken. Anyway, it's only 4 30, me and Gary are just like. I don't know what to do, but I feel so tired. Okay. Show me. Show me your bobo. No, that's not where it is. Anyway, so carrots are done. Ooh, look how beautiful. Oh, sorry, I smoked up you up a little bit there. But no, they're perfection. So frozen carrots just shot on me, so they're done. So I just did salt, pepper, sauteed them in butter, and then after they were done, I pulled it off the heat and put another um, dab of butter in there. Dap is like half a teaspoon, or like a teaspoon of butter. Dap. Dap. In my language. Anyways, um, and just like did this motion. Stop. And so, and like, yeah. Did you test those if they are done? No, what? Did you test them? No, they're not done yet. Dap the potato! I've had a lot of wine this morning, this afternoon. Are they done? No. So, my second... Uh, was in a mason jar, so it was very country, and then Garrett put it in a very sophisticated shot, uh, shot glass. Whiskey scotch glass. Mm. And these exact ones came with this bottle of scotch, which this is my brother-in-law's, so. It's a, little, a little bit in there. I actually think this glass still has scotch in it. Yep. Ugh. I can barely hold the camera up. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Thank you, Garrett. You're gonna have dinner is served with a toe. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. That's Garrett. This is mine. Doesn't that look so beautiful and delicious? And scrumptious. Yeah, pretty proud of it. So we're gonna eat because both of, everything there. So where's my fork? I don't like that fork. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How's it taste? Good. 
and the carrots. Good. Mm. Stop it. <laughs> the carrots are rounded. Just hit your tape. Can I get a little bit sweet? No, I got a block. I'll do, I'll do it for you. There you go. I'm drunk. Eat sideways. I was like, okay, now the mashed potatoes. It's gross. I'm doing an awesome job with that booze. You're smacking. Now let's see. Meat. Long time. I'm so excited to finally have my cell phone back where I can film on. Uh, I'm talking, I'm vlogging. Um, really excited about it. So I just downloaded like 50 apps on my phone. 